that fire was a very interesting fire in that it, it, it served many aspects. Um, we learned that the establishment of number 11 Peter Street was actually owned by the Ramos' family who was there for quite a number of years before relocating to their new address in the Belama area. Um, from what we've gathered from them, reasons being that they were threatened and um, they, were, they were somewhat abused by the neighbors. For safety, they left the city and relocated. Their downfall now was leaving the establishment, so to speak, un unoccupied. Um, we, we had credible information from police officers on the scene who stated that the establishment were burglarized quite a, new, quite a number of times within the three months where no one was there. These incidents were reported to the uh, police department. From the firefighting field, we've learned that this fire was one that was maliciously set. Um, however, the perpetrators did not need the use of an accelerant, seeing that they had entrance into the building, the building wasn't secured, um, the fire load was already in the building, whereby a few, few household items were still there, namely a bed, a two-piece sofa set, and other little small items. The house itself served as a fire load, being that it was of a pine construction type. However, we managed to extinguish this fire, but not before the house that sat right next to it, number 13, owned by the Sandoval family, that structure suffered minor fire damage to its western sidings, eaves, and windows. If we push further inside that house, I believe it was one of the Chester drawers or bureau that also um, that was also burnt in the process, along with some clo some um, clothing particulars. Fortunately, for that particular family, seeing that they were there, no one was injured at the time during this blaze. And double fortunately for them, the damage to their building was contained to just what was mentioned earlier.